Hi, I'm Kurt from Ozama and welcome to Workshop Wednesday. <coughs> Coming, sweetie. It was bound to happen. First Jesse's wife got it, then Bo got it, and now my fiance's got it. I don't have it. So understandably, progress in the workshop has been a little bit slower than usual lately. <coughs> but Kurt, I hear you ask, how will I get my weekly tank restoration fixed with all this COVID flying around? Well, I'm glad you asked. The regular schedule is a little bit disrupted, but this week we've put together something special. A few years ago, Oz Armour acquired an old Panther wreck, which we had restored in Europe. Now, there were a lot of different organisations and individuals involved, but the restoration was headed by Bruce, Nick and Phil at Access Track Services. Now, these guys are legends in the tank restoration game and I got access to some of their photos that they took during the restoration process. Oh, this video is a bit of fun, and I hope you enjoy it. And be sure to stay to the end so you can hear the Panthers' very first startup. It's quite a sight. <coughs> Coming, sweetheart. I better go. Enjoy. Just look at the state the poor beast is in. Everyone that worked in this incredible project had to make some serious magic happen. Never underestimate the importance of an intact turret ring. As always, heat, man hours, patience and dedication can work wonders. The transmission suffered a direct hit that badly damaged the gears, so we had to commission a brand new set made from scratch. This was the most challenging and time consuming part of the build. These were milled by John Dennett and they are works of art. Army Tech in the Czech Republic refurbished the engine 
They were so busy doing such a fantastic job that they forgot to take high definition photos, but that's a small price to pay. If you've been following our Yag Panther restoration series, then these hubs might be familiar to you. Four years of work condensed into a five minute string quartet. Not bad. But now for the real reason you're here. Well, that's all we have time for today. Thank you so much for your patience during this tricky period. I promise we'll work very hard to try and get back on our regular release schedule as soon as possible. I'm not sure if we'll have a video for next week, but be sure to stay tuned for more updates. So until next time, I'm Kurt from Oz Armour, and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs> I don't have it. I don't have it. <laughs>